Hey guys, MKBHD here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the best apps in the Chrome Web Store. So I guess this is for the Chrome users who watch these videos. But if you haven't already discovered it, I did a video on the new layout of the Chrome Web Store and it looks pretty spiffy so I figured I'd highlight the best apps available in it. All these are free. By the way, this this is this is my 401st YouTube video, so uh, if we could get 401 likes on this video, that would be awesome. Either way, let's go ahead and dive right into this. The first app is called Weatherbite, and it's this really clean, minimalist, classy looking weather app. I just use it when I want to get a little bit of information real quick, like the temperature or whether or not I need a jacket for the day. But if you take a look at the interface, you'll notice it's, it's really good looking. Uh, I highly recommend it just because for those of you who like the minimalist style like me, it really does look good and matches up with the Chrome web browser. Gives you all the information you need to know. You can switch between cities real quick. Has these nice simple icons. Uh, everything about it is nicely laid out and it looks good. So I highly recommend this one. It's called Weatherbite. The next one's called TweetDeck. Yeah, TweetDeck for Chrome. You might have seen my earlier MKBHD video where I just highlighted just that app, TweetDeck for Chrome. Looks really good. Uh, it's not quite as powerful as the desktop app because you can't really get real-time notifications streaming or you can't really change the colors, but you do get that Twitter, Facebook, and Foursquare integration, all your social media in one place. So if you don't really like going to the individual websites, you'll definitely like TweetDeck and uh, it's nice to have that sync availability. So uh, if you sign into TweetDeck on multiple platforms, it all syncs together nicely. Good stuff. Next on this list, try audio tool. I'm not going to claim I know how to make music in any way, but this app kind of makes me try. Pretty unique one that's yet again also free is called Webcam Toy. It might remind you of Photo Booth for Macs because of all the crazy effects it gives you, but this one is totally web-based. Anyone with a webcam can now take advantage of these awesome MySpace photo effects. But honestly, it's got this snazzy pink color scheme. It has a whole ton of photo effects to give you guys uh, the ability to take all these different types of pictures. Uh, you have the ability to set a countdown timer so you can have both hands off the computer when it sets the shutter and you can fool all your MySpace friends into thinking you have a Mac even if you don't because you have Chrome and webcam toy. Wait, what's, what's MySpace? All right, here's a cool one. It's called Good Food. Makes me want to cook all these fancy schmancy recipes because it presents them in, in such a nice, clean, organized manner. Taking a look at the layout, they give you a nice picture of the food you're about to cook. They even give you an estimated time it takes to prepare the dish so you know how long it takes to make the food you're about to start making, which I, I, I multiply by about three because I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, let me introduce you to The Independent. It's actually an extension for a UK newspaper that allows you to take advantage of all the recent headlines and view them in one nice layout in the corner of your web browser. It's not an application, but it's actually an extension that is just in the corner so you can tap that button and the more you tap that, the more headlines you get, and it looks really good, and uh, I highly recommend it. So if you guys have Chrome, and you live in the UK, and you read The Independent, you'll definitely like this one. Yeah. <laughs> Last but not least is Wonderlist. I discovered this app a couple of days ago, and it just took over my life. I used Google Tasks to organize my life and remember everything. When I discovered Wonderlist, it took over and now I use that to remember everything. Wonderlist is a really nicely laid out and pretty well customizable tasks list managing application. So you can use this to set, you know, homework or, or tasks you need to do or uh, change the background color from wood to granite, whatever you want to do. Uh, I honestly was really excited for this because there is an Android app, there's an iOS app, there's an OS 10 app, there's a Windows desktop app, and now there's the Chrome app. So it's basically everywhere in my life that I needed to be. And uh, that's pretty awesome. So check it out. All these apps are in the Chrome web store and their links are down in the description pointing at my crotch. But yeah, it's, it's there, trust me. Now I didn't include any games on this list. Uh, that's not because they're paid. They're actually all mostly free, but I just didn't want you guys to end up like I did when I first discovered these games. <laughs> oh. Boom! No, but seriously, there are a lot of great games in the Chrome Web Store that didn't make this list. So if you check out the new Chrome Web Store, you guys can view all the apps and uh, all the games that I haven't showed you guys in this video. So enjoy those. So there you go. Thanks for watching this video. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys late, 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 later. 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 G'day, mate.